the Microsoft Imagine Cup competition for innovation, citizenship and games toured Nigeria's big cities screening competitors who made it to the semi-final stage in Ibadan, Port Harcourt and Abuja as they made their way to the national finals in Lagos, the center of excellence. event for Microsoft, uh, primarily because um, we pride ourselves as a company uh, in line with our mission to enable every organization and every person on the planet uh, to, to achieve more. Uh, and Imagine Cup is just one of those ways that we, uh, we aim to live up to this uh, aspiration and, and this ambition. My name is Kendra Nachi, and I've had the privilege to travel with the team from Port Harcourt to Abuja to um, Ibadan during the regionals where we gathered the cream of the crop. And it's amazing to see how much the teams have grown between regionals and today and how much they have invested and put into their solutions to actually become things that can impact um, the people around them, not just locally, but also on a global scale. These events, normally, it's, it's interesting to see that, you know, students are that insightful to take a step back, look at the predominant problems around our nation, our, con our country, Nigeria, and then come up with solutions, most especially since it's on the Microsoft platform, and then think of ways to not just better themselves, but in inevitably better everybody as a whole. So human basically is a, is a, is a, yeah, for me is a platform that simplifies applications for the visual impact. The criteria for selecting obviously continues to remain the same. I think more than anything we're first looking at whether or not people could come with a almost like a new category of product or service. Um, also something that would ordinarily have a global appeal and would easily scale and something that would also be commercially viable. Um, those were the kind of criteria that we were looking, looking out for. Most of the contestants generally have good concepts, but I mean, where we have challenges more was on the innovation um, judging criteria. But altogether, I would say it's pretty good, yeah. You scroll up and scroll down buttons for navigation. Exit. Check today's date, April 15, 2016. Check what time it is, 12.43 p.m. Exit. Music app. You are on the select music view right now. Be David Guetta. Tomorrow wait a while away, till we get you back in. The national winner will be chosen from a handful of really creative and socially conscious developers. After running their innovations by the judges and fellow competitors, they all have to wait for the final results. The jury engage in hours of grueling critiquing and then the winner is announced. And so uh, the national champion for this year for Imagine Cup 2016 uh, with drum rolls. Yes, uh -huh. <laughs> the team Humane have come out victorious in this round of the Microsoft Imagine Cup, which makes them Nigeria's representative in the Middle East and Africa. Should their innovation win at that level, they will proceed to the world stage to battle it out with other developers and innovators. We came here in um, 2014, Imagine Cup. We came as um, Team Humane and we came uh, with a product. And actually, uh, at that point in time, what we actually wanted was that we wanted blind men to be able to play games. But actually, unfortunately, we did not win. So we went back to the drawing board and then we said, okay, fine. All right, even if we can't um, make blind men play games, let us make them control the whole of their the whole of their mobile phones so fortunately here we are today 2016 national finals and we are the winners we've come to the point where we've selected a national winner um, who will go on to compete at the regional level um, with other winners from the Middle East and Africa region being against the likes of Egypt Senegal um, Dubai the UAE and so on and so forth 
Um, and when, if they do make it across, if they do make it in that competition, they then head on to Seattle, um, where they will compete in the worldwide finals. And this will happen at the end of July, somewhere between the end of July and early August. We do hope that um, we will have a good showing with this solution that won here today, because it is, in fact, very, very innovative, and it does solve uh, the challenges for visually impaired people. Now, um, we have seen that Microsoft is um, doing some products which will help this product grow. So we hope that um, the winning team, Team Humane, will take some of the feedback they've gotten from the judges today and go and do some improvements with their product as they prepare for the regional finals and hopefully the worldwide finals in July. It's not just about winning, it's really more about holding on to a dream and necessarily following through that dream. Um, so I guess to anyone who would want to come here, I think the advice would be start from actually knowing what problem you're trying to solve, research around that and be truly convinced that you do have a solution just again around the criteria, something that potentially is bringing newness to um, to category of product or services or something that is taking that to another level and something that obviously would have a global appeal and obviously it is also economically viable. Second time lucky and from Nigeria to the world, Team Humane have been announced national winners of the Microsoft Imagine Cup competition this side of the world.